different girl Can't come from a different world Ever would've came at me like that Never would've tried to play me like Saturday it's November 20th it's literally the Saturday before Thanksgiving November is just like flying by I swear to God it was just November 1st anyway welcome to another weekend vlog so I'm gonna vlog today and tomorrow um, because I need to get a video up I did not put up a video this past week because I was filming a video um, that I am going to put out probably at the end of this upcoming week or in the middle of the week it just depends I'm waiting on some stuff it's a it's an update on the job interviews that I was telling y'all about in the last vlog that I put up before this one I don't have a lot going on today to be quite I don't have nothing going on today to be quite honest but I thought I'd start it off today I do have a Friendsgiving tomorrow so I'll take y'all along um, on that well I mean I'll try to get some footage I'm not gonna have like my phone up in people face recording because I don't know all the people there so I'm not gonna be like vlogging the whole thing but i will do like a otd i think that's a good like outfit inspo um situation to do an otd so we'll talk through what i'm going to wear to something like that so i'm looking forward to that um because i haven't been doing a lot of socializing and i need to get out of this hell so we'll do that tomorrow i do have a few skincare things that i'm going to show with y'all um some new stuff that i picked up that came in this week and yeah, so let's get into that. So I was heavily influenced on the internet this week <laughs> when it comes to skincare, but that's okay. Literally everything I'm about to show y'all, um, I got it because somebody else posted it. So let's start with like toning um, products that I picked up. This was actually a gift from a wellness brand called Honey Duo, and they did a collab with um, this, I think it's called Av Avrani um, skincare brand, and they were giving away um, this here product, it is a balance restoring serum. Um, so I used it last night as like a toner, um, like after I washed my face. So that's probably what I'm going to use it as and I'm probably gonna use it as like a nighttime toner. It has tea tree, tea tree oil, chamomile flowers and cucumber extract. Um, usually y'all know my face uh, kind of has like a weird reaction to things that have any type of flower extract or anything like that but so far so good it didn't um, I didn't wake up with any like texture on my face which um, is what has happened to me in the past so this was actually a free gift from um, Honey Duo and Avrani I don't know how to pronounce that but I'll I'll link both Honey Duo it's a black owned wellness brand she's so dope so I'll put their Instagram information um in the description and then I picked up this Avine Avine I can't pronounce it girl I think it's French I think it's French but it's a thermal spring water spray and I picked it up because Melissa's wardrobe um she is literally probably if not my favorite one of my favorite influencers right now like I eat up anything that she says she's she's like a luxury influencer but she's really down to earth and I just like and she's the type of person where I can trust that if she says something is good it's good so anyway it's a thermal spring water and it's for soothing and softening sensitive skin um, you can use it for moisture Melissa says she uses it as a toner so I've been trying it out um, as a toner as well for the last couple days in the morning so after I wash my face I just spray it down with some of this and let it dry and then do my eye cream and all of that stuff so so far so good on that I picked this up off of Amazon and I got it for I believe like between 10 and 12 dollars i cannot remember the exact price but i'll link it below 
Then I picked up this Acure um, Essential Hemp Seed Oil. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can focus it. That's what it looks like. It's hemp seed oil. I got this from, uh, actually it's a family account, a girl on a family account that I follow, but I am obsessed with her style, her husband's style, her kid's style. Like they are so dope. Um, it's The page is called Expecting Gray. And um, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup if she wears makeup at all. She's just like a skin brow lash person, which goals. Like that's my 2022 goals is to um, not wear makeup at all for real like I already don't wear it very much um, but I do when I like go out but I want to like go out and be brow lashes skin person because I, I know I just makeup I'm just over makeup right now I'm not saying that I'll never wear it again um, on a like daily basis or you know on a special occasion basis but I just I don't want to have to so we're working we're working on skin brows and lash situation and then the last thing that I picked up is another moisturizer but this is a thicker cream moisturizer it's by a brand called Halika Halika it's their good Sierra uh, super ceramide cream I got this at the suggestion of um, by me Chanel she's a skincare influencer she's out of um, she's out of Chicago she's another um, skin brow lash person you might catch her in a bold lip but she rarely wears makeup she has amazing skin and she gives amazing skincare tips um product tips and stuff like that so i picked this up the other day she was doing like a q a and somebody asked for a, a thicker cream for the colder months because we all get real dry in the colder months well not we all but i definitely do so I hurried up and snatched this up as well. Um, you can get it from Ulta, it was like $29. I found this on Amazon for about 18, so like $10, $11 less. So I'll link all of this stuff below. This is going to be a part of my new morning night routine. I'm trying to simplify it as much as I can. Also, I don't think I ever showed y'all my book for November, which I am so behind on. I am so behind on my reading. It's not even funny, but let me get it and I'll show y'all. So this month's book is called The Invisible Child, Poverty, Survival, and Hope in an American City. It's um, by an author named Andrea Elliott. Andrea is not black, so y'all know that my uh, series for the year is uh, memoirs by black women about black women. Um, I did make an exception for Andrea because this book had so many amazing reviews, like almost damn near perfect on every site that I read. And it is a black girl's story young black girl um, named Dasani. She was born and raised in New York and it's so crazy that this story sounds like it happened when I was growing up but this literally was like 2011, 2012, 2010. I was like in grad school right so the, the fact that people are still living like this when we have so many resources um, at this time is just it, it, it it's ridiculous. Anyway I, this is about all that I've read and we got like a week and a half left in <laughs> November so I have to get on it so I'm probably going to spend today reading a bunch of this book so I can get caught up. I'm also listening to The Power of Vulnerability by Brene Brown um, on Audible. I still haven't finished last month's Audible book. I got like two hours left um, on that. I just I, I am behind. I don't I don't know what I've been doing but it's time to play catch up because I want to finish the year off strong. Anyway, I'm going to take a shower, make some breakfast, and um, get into these books because I'm behind. So we are at Baby Shower Venue Shopping. We are in the studio Chicago. It is a gorgeous space in the South Loop in Chicago. Uh, my friend is having a baby shower in March. And so this is the first place that I think this is going to be the place. This is so pretty. So we, we already decided that we maybe just will play off of the uh, furniture because that has to stay during the event. So it's more, they have like backdrops because they rent the studio out, studio out to like influencers. You can come in and create content and you know, they do events and stuff like this. I am keeping this in mind for my birthday for a cute little birthday situation. Um, but yeah and then this is the back so this is exciting this is the first place that we've come to and <laughs> we're already like this is it okay we have some time to burn so we basically said yes to that place so that's where the baby shower is going to be it's a little vintage furniture shop down the street i don't know the name of this place but now we're in here i like these chairs they're cute it's a whole bunch of stuff in here I didn't show you my outfit before I left home. This is me 
with my bucket and my Shirley and my hoodie and my jeans, boots. anything to do today but I completely forgot that I was supposed to go look at a venue for my friend's baby shower uh, we're going with the venue that I showed y'all in the previous clip we just loved it it's not a lot of decorating that needs to happen because the space is so nice um and so yeah her baby shower isn't into March but let me tell you something I don't know what happens in the pandemic in Chicago like you need like you need to put a reservation in as soon as possible on anything so we wanted to go ahead and get the venue booked so we're gonna book that place it's super cute so we're excited about that um and then after we left uh the venue we went to a like vintage furniture store um or used furniture however you want to say it uh, it was right down the street so we went and looked around didn't pick anything up um and then we went to meet a old high school for, we went and got like lunch and we met up with an old um friend from back home um i went to elementary school with her her and julia my friend julia were like really close or they are still really close um so linked up with her for a little bit and then we went thrifting i'm not a big thrifter um to be quite honest like goodwills and stuff like that they just give me the heebie-jeebies but i went and i looked around and i found something i always say i'm not a thrifter i'm not a thrifter i don't like thrift it makes it freaks me out i like to thrift and then when i go with somebody i always find something like the jacket i had on earlier is a L.O. bean jacket i actually thrifted that years ago that and a longer look that and this coat which is also like a shirling coat and this is uh lands in i thrifted this and the coat that i had on in the earlier clips together at the same time which was like a jackpot um and that's the last time i went thrifting and that it's been like eight years since i've had these like legit so this is what i got another coat this is 100 wool with a silk lining long wool trench coat it has like these brown buttons on it super masculine i am obsessed with it the shoulders are really structured there isn't a belt with it which i really like i did not want a belted uh trench y'all i'm obsessed with this thing it fits perfectly oversized on my body let me put it on let me let me just put it on i really don't want to put it on because i need to put it in the cleaners i don't want to put it on my body but i'm about to put it on i already tried it on for tiktok anyway so let me just quit acting bougie. If I got the heebie-jeebies, I already got the heebie-jeebies because I didn't put it on once. Anyway, let me, let me. <gasps> Y'all, $20. $20. 22 and some change after tax for 100% wool long coat. Look at this. That's crazy. Look at this. Look at how it fits. My shoulders, I'm not getting it taken in or anything. It's like the perfect amount of oversized. I can like layer under this with like hoodies and sweaters. Sleeves rarely ever fit me like this. This is what got me excited. I don't know if this is a man coat or if this is a woman coat. It was just sort of like randomly laying on a rack and I picked it up and I was like, I'm buying that. $20, 100% genuine wool. So I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna get it cleaned. And she's gonna be worn she's gonna get worn yeah that's all i bought so i am going to read like i said i was gonna read that's what i'm gonna spend the rest of my night doing and yeah i'll talk to y'all tomorrow for friends giving so excited about that so happy sunday it's right after like three um i've been like doing adult things today i went to the grocery store i did laundry and folded it directly after it was done you know did some other stuff around the house other stuff as in not dust like i should have but i've been doing other stuff anyway just finished getting dressed i'm gonna show y'all what i'm wearing but you know what 
I decided to go super casual. I have zero makeup on my face. I didn't even feel in my brows. No mascara, none of that. Um, but it's a super casual look. I think it's appropriate for a Friendsgiving. So I'll do an OOTD. Ooh, the sun. I'll do an OOTD. I mean, it may not be exciting, but let me show y'all what I have on. Hold on, let me sit y'all down. So as you saw on my head, I have my trusty R13 hat. I love this hat. Best, what, $65, $70? How much did I pay for this hat? I don't know. Somewhere between 60 and $70. Anyway, best money I spent, I actually have a Scully in the mail from Nordstrom on the way from them. So I expect to wear it just as much. My sweater is seven days active. Um, and then I just have on an oversized t-shirt to hang under it. I like when my t-shirts hang a little bit under and then a little bit here out of the sweater. I think that looks super cute. And then on the bottom, let me lower you some more. On the bottom, I just have on this pair of Zara leggings. They're ribs, they zip in the back. I love the way that they fall over a sneaker. And then I just have on a pair of black and white Nike Daybreaks. So this is the look. And then for my coat, let me grab it. This sun is so childish. But anyway, for my coat, I'm going to do this just long wool coat from Mango. And then I'm going to crossbody my purse over. I've been like really into wearing my bags just like on the shoulder. But whenever I wear big coats like this, I like to crossbody them. So I'll show you what it'll look like, even though it's coming right off. So this is the coat on. Let me move my hair. And then I'm just gonna crossbody my bag like that. And that's my look. Super cool, super casual. I think it's perfect for like a Friendsgiving, nothing too much. Um, but you know. Oh my God, y'all see how the sun is, girl, shining. Um, it's going down and it, it sets right behind my apartment. Anyway, um, I'll catch up with y'all at the Friendsgiving. I'll probably just do sort of like a montage to end it off, um, just of like a few clips of Friendsgiving. Thank y'all so much for watching this vlog. I'm really close to a thousand, like less than 300 away from a thousand subscribers. So that's super exciting. I'm just under 7,000 followers on TikTok, Instagram, I still haven't figured out but I'm just I'm working what works for me so anyway thank you all that have followed me here thank you all that have followed me on TikTok go follow me on Instagram I'll put the handles on um, the screen and then I will talk to y'all in the next vlog enjoy the little montage hopefully I'll get some good stuff I don't know we'll see talk to y'all in the next video bye <laughs>